Um, to move around, all you have to do is press right, left click to move around, and right click to pan around. Pretty straightforward. Um, so just move, position your camera over here. Go to this camera icon, and go to FOV, and pull it back a bit. And scroll in to zoom in. And find a good position. Uh, that looks good. Uh, not too shabby. Okay, so now we want to select the node, press. I think there's a bug fixed in the next in the current version which I haven't downloaded, which doesn't make these collapse out all the time. But um, just select this uh, little icon here to make them collapse in. So go to the white room first and turn it, oh actually let's do the wood texture. So select this white arrow and select this down arrow and on the RGB spectrum change it to image. Now uh, go to where you saved it, mine's in tutorial. I'll give you these textures in a RAR file, RAR. Um, press open and they are there. Uh, now to change the size, all you have to do is go to scale and scale it up and scale it down. Uh, let's go to a reasonable. That looks good. That's perfect. All right. Now go back oh, to where you where you can see the textures. Um, now let's do it for the bump. So same thing. Change it to image and put it to bump. And I want you then to get the same scale from your diffuse. Oh shit. Oops. Let's just change it to there. So get the same scale number from your diffuse and paste it into your bump one. And it should match it. Now that is way too powerful. So just turn down a notch. Yeah, that looks good. Just enough for the sun to cast a shadow onto it. Um, now, do the same for your... Alright, so now, time to put some sunlight in. Now, if you're a Lux Render user, I was for a while, but I then went to Octane, you would have to go into the... You would have to set the sun in Blender, and since it takes about half an hour to see your image fully, um, and you find out that the sun's on the correct position, you would have to redo the render again. In Octane, however, it is... It's just... Look at that. Ugh. Just look at that. Whir, 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 whir. It's so fast. So position the sun where you want it. I'm going to position it here. Maybe up, up on the bump a bit. Go to power. That's nice. Uh, now go to the room settings and let's change the. Uh, not too much. Oh, uh, yeah, around then. That looks pretty nice. Um, you can change the exposure. It's like a really shitty version of. Photoshop, we can change the tone mapping and everything. I like mine dark and sexy, but the guys in the front don't like it. That's just, that's me, man. That's just me. You can add some color correction if you want to. Nice warm feeling, like a nighttime feeling or something. Oh, that looks good. Um, now, and uh, wait for it to render. Now, to if you have if you buy if you actually buy the program, which is only one hundred and twenty-five dollars in American, one hundred and twenty-ish Australian, and ninety-nine euros if you live in Europe, which is very cheap. Um, uh, any graphics card that is by Nvidia and by CUDA will run and will work. 
and apart from that you can save if you actually buy the program you can save it as a full image or if you have the demo you can just press print screen put it to GIMP put Photoshop and just save it um, so that's the tutorial I hope you like it and I will see you next time